Hey, Nick, you got the popcorn? Coming right up. Good. I thought you were going to miss the movie. Ooh, the show's on. Hi, I'm Raquel, and you're watching Cinephiles on Chop Block TV. And I'm Nix. Today we will be reviewing the movie The Black Phone. Okay, so this movie is directed by a man called Scott Derrickson. And you may or may not know him from the Doctor Strange movies that he is also the director of. He also directed um, some other familiar or may not be familiar movies, uh, such as The Exorcist of Emily Rose and The Day the Earth Stood Still. He also directed uh, Sinister. You know, I don't know that I actually ever watched that movie. Yeah, I, I've heard of it. I've seen a lot of promotion for it. Um, but what's interesting about the Black Phone movie is that it is based in Denver, Colorado. But that's also where Scott Derrickson was born. Oh, nice. Did you know that? I did not know that. Um, apparently, also, the movie The Black Phone has hints of Scott Derrickson's uh, childhood experiences with plenty of expansions. But the main gist of the movie is based off of a short story uh, written in 2004 by Joe Hill, who happens to be Stephen King's son. I knew that, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. No, that's pretty rad, too. Yeah. Especially because Stephen King does so many, like, ghostwriting, like, endeavors, so you never know. It's kind of thrilling in itself. Yeah. So it's the ultimate thriller type of vibe. It's oh, cool. yeah. It's it's just nostalgic. Like. Pass that torch down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, man, I, uh, I definitely took note on a few of the actors, and I would say I was most impressed with that little Miguel kid, like, um, I think it's Miguel Caz. Oh, I didn't write the whole last name down. <laughs> Can you, would you remember the pronunciation? I believe it's M Miguel Cazares. Cazares, yeah. Yeah. He was impressive, and that little girl, man, Madeline McGraw, I believe that's a fun name. McGraw. Jim McGraw. <laughs> she had me like just freaking like, you know, like I just really. Oh yeah, she's yeah. tough. She's tough. And this isn't her first horror movie either. She was in that Lala Roan movie, which I I realize now I need to watch more horror movies, but <laughs> some of the newer ones. Yeah. But she's yeah, yeah the horror and I, the them movie we were talking about. Right. Like, so thrillers seems to be sort of her like niche. Yeah. And yeah, she definitely impressed me on that. The whole movie did, but as far as actors go, they were all. I I can't think of a single character in that movie that I did not. Like, I wasn't interested in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think um, there's great skill in here, in the acting, that, um, you know, they, you, so we know that Ethan Hawke is there. I mean, his mm -hmm. name is in the title. Yeah. So what's cool is, I think, is him as such a big name kind of gives, he gives leeway to all of these newer actors and, mm -hmm. and lighter known and, and, young actors really oh yeah they, they were like, all kids you know yeah yeah no they they definitely and it's mixed too that's not all the same genre like they're really i don't know i just really was impressed with with the lineup for this movie all those kids did great it, it kind of had that like how they did with it and that 80s nostalgia and like strangers things mm -hmm. 70s 80s and yeah. yeah so um i uh so i noticed that so the name the name the black phone there, yes, there is a black phone in there. And oh, well, I would hope so. Right. But, uh, <laughs> it's cool to see like, kind of the mystery behind the black thinking. phone. Um, <laughs> kind of has you questioning. I'm I'm going to say that there's there's a kind of some confusion as to how it would work, maybe, mm -hmm. like in a physical sense. Um, but it, it's also like it works, and it's kind of creepy, you know, like how it works. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely got like a 1970s like serial killer vibe if you if you can kind of like imagine and uh, what's really cool about it is there's there's a lot of the, the way that it's put together there's a lot of extremely uncomfortable tension in this movie which is it's crazy how you feel this way with like maybe the music score you know how it oh yeah it definitely it definitely gave off that like 
not necessarily somebody's watching me, but sort of that like stalkery. Um, like yes. eyes, but like, like the just, chills you get, like when honest, you're just like, there's something uncomfortable and evil in this room. I, I, yeah, I would honestly though say it's more so like that whole feeling of obliviousness, really. It's like what they're translating is you're, you're not typically paying attention to the people closest to you in your neighborhood, you know? And so like, it's, it's, these things were so common in the seventies and I mean, I think it's it's portraying real life, and it's kind of it's 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 heavy and it's traumatic and it's manipulative, you know. Definitely yeah, the, a trigger warning um, for uh, how would you say? And any anybody who's who's triggered by by violence against you know, um, uh, I mean the, the character, the main, the the you know, he uh, if you read the back of the movie thing. It describes it as him being a, a, into pedophilia, and like he's a pedophile. Yeah, so it's like anything in that realm of. I mean, really think about like serial killers, and uh, just. But other than that, I think I, even through the voice that Ethan Hawke portrays this, this it's creepy. It's just plain out yeah, creepy. This man, it's uncomfortable. This, yeah, yeah. This uh, how'd you say like, like uh, maybe like a. He's like a sociopath. Yeah, the, for sure. You can tell by the way he talks. Damaged. Damaged. Traumatized. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, that's really as far as the vibe goes. And the lighting, man, was perfect throughout the whole film. And then the way they changed the the, um, the settings based off of each person is almost like POV for a couple of the characters. See, like, they're the way they see it. Yeah, very yeah. personal for each character. You get invested. Yeah. yeah. And you definitely, the, the lighting and the sound, everything, it just... It was all put together really well. Um, I also think that it's not all terrible feeling. Like there's some good moments, like some relief you get in some of these scenes. Nostalgia. Yeah, some good nostalgia. Movie. You get like a little arcade feel. And then um, what really I love about it is that you're cheering for this main character the whole time. You're like, oh my gosh, I, I want him to win. He's got to win. He's got to I see I was, something. I was invested in the drama, I realized, until like the very end when I realized, oh crap, he's fixing to die. Like I was just like, well, into it, you know? And then I'm like, oh no, uh-oh, something bad's about to happen. But the, it was like, like I said, the, the being dependent on that lighting and sound. The build yeah, up they, from the sound, it's like, whoa you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh like you know. yeah it, it definitely it definitely um gets your like you're you're there for you, it you you're start moving the forward end. like this you're like okay wait a minute is yeah. this the edge, edge of my seat, seat? Yes. Like, oh man so i guess like what did you like the most about this movie it's you know like um if i had like, to say i think it was the um the ability to the movies the the way it was put together the ability to really enhance your terror or your thrill or your relief or your you know all of these emotions that are rushing through it, it was able to really just get in touch with that the drama the drama yes dramatic and dramatic it's not typically a word that you dramatic and dramatic <laughs> just like me <laughs> <laughs> um i really really liked that they obviously i mean just 80s any type of horror thriller mm -hmm. it's the, it's nostalgia oh, yeah. um but also i really i like that they highlighted real stuff that is real life you know and it had been, it could still be, and these are things, they, they really just spoke to a whole audience in this movie. Like, everybody can relate to this, and that was nice to be relatable. Um, the manipulation wasn't too much, so they didn't, it, every time that you got let down or disappointed, they, they relieved that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But in a way you don't expect every time yeah. They had some, and I did like that they have very creative, a big that, plot yeah. twist too. So that's mm -hmm. a that's gonna be a fun one when when they when they show that or when you when you guys first see that. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. I'm excited overall for everybody to see this movie. Like mm -hmm. it's been a long time since a thriller has thrilled me. So yeah, heck yes. Yeah. So what is what's your rating? So if I'm gonna give it a rating, I'm gonna give it a four. Nice. Uh, four stars. I I like it. Right, I like it a lot. Um, I think um, I think it's definitely you should watch it. The only reason why it's not five stars is because there are some trigger 
experiences if you you know just some things can be very uncomfortable but other than that it's very well put together okay so I did 4.5 because mm -hmm. dare to dream no um, <laughs> really the whole movie um, was good for me um, it's super impressive um, the attention to detail was really nice it sent to me it sent a good message um, and it just kind of reminds you to a trust your instincts and be aware you know like this is this is a, look out for your friends yeah it's, it's a close to home movie I guess yeah. for a lot of people and um, truthfully the 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 act everything was good so four point five and actually the reason I liked it was because it was traumatic and yeah. <laughs> it's like what gave so it that every to each their own yeah yeah it, they really set a stand a new psychologically yeah, there there's there's not so much as, as like the blood and the guts and the gore but well, it, no. there's yeah. definitely that that ping in your head where you're like. Yeah, it, it's different. That's messed up. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely it definitely is a very unique. I've not seen a movie quite like this one. Either. Yeah, I will say I have not seen a movie in a long time that had such an effect on me being initially scared. Like, you know, like, you know, it, it was very tense in some moments, and I was like, wow, like that is. I feel that in my body. I feel it in my bones. All right. <laughs> so I guess it's, we're gonna wrap this up. Is there anything else that we need to say? Well, I will say that um, thank you for watching us. Um, this is Cinephiles on Chop Block TV, and we'll catch you again later.